Hi guys, how are you doing? My name is Aditi and today's video, as you have guessed, yes, it is about interior design. I'll share with you how you can study about interior design at your bachelor's level, your master's level and if you don't want to do any of that and yet you want to do something in the field of design, then how do you go about it? All of that coming up in today's video. So on that note, let's begin. So first, what we are going to talk about is what? is interior design. Now this might seem like a very obvious question. Ghar ko achcha bana do, just match the colors of the sofa with the cushion, cushion with the carpet and that with the doormat. So job is done. No, not at all. In fact, matching matching is the last thing we do when it comes to design. What's extremely important is how you balance and how do you complement all the themes and textures of the room. And that's how we come up with a wonderful composition. So let me give you a very simple example. When you go, okay, think about your bedroom. Let's talk about your bedroom first. Now in your bedroom, you will be having a bed, you will be having a cupboard, you will be having a study table, and most of you all will be also having a washroom. Hena? Now you get exactly the same things when you go to a five star hotel. But then why do you feel different? You should be feeling exactly the same thing. Na? I mean, it's the same things you're getting in your house and a hotel. So why do you feel so excited? Well, that's because an expert interior designer has designed your space. So the moment you enter, you feel so nice. <laughs> it feels so luxurious and you feel so happy and there's a smile on your face. Now, if you fall sick and you go to a hospital and I decorate your hospital like a palace. Hmm? Now, most of you all will not feel comfortable when that happens. Why? Because when we don't feel uh, well or we fall sick, we don't like biryani. No, we want everything to be simple, everything to be clear cut lines. So if you go to a hospital, the best hospitals, everything will be in clear cut lines. No confusion and it will be in shades of whites and blues and it allows you to relax yourself. But when you feel all well and you're full of life, and you go to a five-star hotel and I designed that five-star hotel like a hospital room, you will not like to go back. <laughs> Why? Because when you're well, you want to eat biryani and then you don't want khichdi. So every single space that you go to, it has a function, it has a theme. And interior design is definitely not about making a thing look fancy or beautiful. There's a lot of function, there's a lot of psychology that goes behind it. So if you want to get into this extremely interesting field, let's talk about that. And first, we'll talk about the bachelor's level. And number one college that you should be targeting should be National Institute of Design, which is in Ahmedabad. Now, there are many different branches, hai, but you have to target the Ahmedabad one because it's the oldest. Guju powered, came to Majama. If you want to get entry into NID, you have to be application form with an alert. And this application form, hai, you'll have to do an online payment of about 2000 rupees. And this form will be available in the month of October, November. By the end of December, you get your admit card. And in the month of January, you give your first written test. And if you've done well, you'll be called for your studio test, which happens approximately in the month of April or March or uh, by the end of May, you know whether you've made it to NID or not. So eligibility, ke liye, the good news is that you don't have to be a science student. You can be arts, commerce, anything, as long as you have got more than 50-55%. Cutoff is pretty low, so it's not difficult to manage. That's a good thing. And you can't be more than 20 years of age. Char saal ke end mein, you will get your degree and the fee is about 12.3 lakhs. But the catch is there are only 10 seats. Uh, the second college on our list is CAPT, which stands for Center of Environment Planning and Technology. And this is also in Ahmedabad. If you have to take entry here, then you have to be aware, you have to be alert with the official website. Because after January, ke ke baad, you will be getting your application forms. Approximately in the month of May, June, you will have two rounds of tests. First round will be written round and after that you will have a studio test or interview round. Hoga. And if you've done well, then you make it to the admissions. Now, for the eligibility, well, there is a little bad news for all the commerce and arts people. This is only for science student. So if you've done your physics, chemistry and maths, uh, then you're eligible to apply for CEPT provided you have more than 50% in your 12th standard. Or if you've not done your chemistry, then you can be a bio or a biotechnology or a computer science student. Either way, everything will work. 
and the time duration for this bachelor's is 5 years it's a very intensive course and the fee is about 15 lakhs um, now the third college on our list is JJ College of Arts which is in Mumbai Maharashtra or yahan pe agar aapko entry leni hai so this is for interior decoration and this is not for design you have to remember that what is the difference between the two i'll just quickly i'll tell you uh, interior decoration is more of an aesthetic uh, field isme it's about colors it's about culture it's about history it's about understanding the theme of the uh, space and interior design is also uh, includes your technical part so if you're an interior designer you can work with architects but if you have done interior decoration then you can only work towards the aesthetic part of the room or the aesthetic part of the space so is college mein agar aapko admission leni hai which is a very prestigious and one of the oldest uh, colleges also of our country so if you want to get your entry you have to write a government exam which is mh aac cet okay this stands for maharashtra uh, applied arts crafts common entrance test Yes, I got the full form right, finally. <laughs> so you write this test, you get your scores. If you scored well, you'll be allotted a seat or uh, just before you get your admission, you have to appear for an interview round. And if you've done well, congratulations, you've made it to JJ School. One uh, eligibility criteria ke liye good news ye hai that you don't have to be an arts, commerce or science student. You can be from any field. As long as you've got more than 45% uh, in your 12th standard, you're good to go. The time duration is 4 years and the fee is about 75,000 per year. Now let's talk about Masters of Interior Design and for this the first college is National Institute of Design which is again in Ahmedabad. Entry process is very similar to bachelor's uh, degree and you will have an application form. Hoga. Online form, hai. you have to fill in your online forms. Only difference is that you have to tell something about your work experience. Preferably if it has something to do with design so it will make your profile a lot more stronger. Eligibility ke liye, you can't be more than 30 years of age and the good news is you also can be an engineer, you can have any degree, any bachelor's degree and yet you can apply for your masters at the NID okay which is the greatest part, it's the best part. Uh, you can apply for NID in your last semester also. Only thing you have to make sure is that uh, before the admission procedure you graduate out of your college. If you have a three-year bachelor's degree program, then you need to have one year of work experience. So that rounds up to four years and after that you can apply for your master's at NID. Time duration for master's will be about two and a half years and the fee is about nine lakhs and there are only 15 seats for interior design at NID. So the competition is a little high. The second college on our list is CUPT which is the Center of Environment Planning and Technology. Just like I told you, this is in Ahmedabad. So you have to fill in your forms. The only difference is that here you have to give in your CGPA score which is your overall grade score, whatever you've got in your bachelor's program. And you also need to have two letters of recommendation and you need to have one CV. And depending on how strong your application is, you'll be called for your interview round. And if you've made it well in the interview round, that's how you get your admissions. Eligibility ke liye, this is only for people who have done their bachelors in architecture or product design, interior design, furniture design or some kind of an industrial design. So they want people with a design background. That's not a very good thing for engineers, but um, yeah, but there's an idea for you. Time ke liye, time duration is about two years, two years for a master's program and the fee is about 7.5 lakh and there are 24 seats available uh, for this program. Uh, the third course on our list for Masters of Fine Arts in Interior Decoration. Entry process is a little different from that of a bachelor's uh, program. In this you have entrance exam. You have to give in your uh, final scores that you got from your bachelor's program. You have to send in your scores in the application form. You have to show how nice your work is. And if your profile looks very strong and promising, you'll be called for an interview round. And if you've done well in the interview round, that's how you get your admission. So eligibility criteria is that your bachelor's has to be in fine arts, in interior decoration, and only then you can apply for this program. And the time duration is two years and the fee is about 50,000 for both the years combined. 
So now we have spoken about three of the best colleges for bachelor's and master's degree program but uh, there are so many more colleges and it's very difficult for me to include all of that in just one video it will not be possible for me so if you have to decide between two good private colleges or two good government colleges then how do you make a decision well it's very simple just compare the age of the campuses the age of the campus the older the college the better it is because it has more experience so go for campuses which are at least 10 years old Go for colleges where the Department of Interior Design is at least 10 years old. Even if your campus is very old, but the Department of Interior Design has started six months back or one year back, don't go for that because um, you know you don't want to go for a department where the professors will experiment on you. You want to go to a place where people have a structure and they know exactly what to teach you. And the third is government verification or government uh, accreditation. So it must be verified by the state or the central government. This will help you to get a better job once you graduate or to travel abroad. So either way your life will get simple. So guys, all this time we spoke about the conventional things to do, going to a college, university, bachelor's, master's, getting your degree and then getting a job. But there are also a lot of people who follow the unconventional path. Now what that means is you don't get a design education and yet you're able to do a lot in the design field. And one primary example, one prime example of somebody who's achieved massive success after following the unconventional path is Mrs. Sunita Kohli. She's the first person in our country who's won a Padma Shri for interior design. And you know what the craziest part is? She's a bachelor's and master's in English literature. Now you must be thinking, what does literature have anything to do with design? If you read about her inspirational story, she says back in the day when I was doing my masters, there was this certain segment which spoke about English culture, old English culture. And she got very intrigued about it. So during her free time, she would go to these local antique shops, like we Hindi mein kabadi wala shop. Bhi bolte. So she would go to these places and she would look at those tiny pieces of furniture and she would learn the art of restoring furniture from the local craftsmen. So what is the meaning of uh, furniture restoring? For example, if uh, this whiteboard is right now three, uh, three months old, okay, so it's pretty much intact in shape. But if this gets 30 years old or 300 years old, the edges will start chipping off, right? Now, a person who knows how to restore things, they will recreate the edges in such a way that you will not be able to make out that this was ever touched. It will look so original. So Mrs. Kohli was very intrigued about this skill and she wanted to learn it. So she would go to these craftsmen, she would learn this and that's how she started her first small furniture business back in 1971. And during that time, near the Khajurao temples, one of the Oberoi hotels wanted to start their uh, branches. Okay, so Oberoi hotels is a chain of hotels and they wanted to start one of their branches near the temples. And they got to know about Mrs. Kohli. Now, Mrs. Kohli was ready to do this assignment at a very nominal fee. So the hotel people agreed and she did her job and she must have done it really well because then she was recommended to the second place and that's how she went to the third place and that's how she built her network and that's how she kept getting more work. And now it's been more than 48 years and she's still actively practicing. So that's the amount of passion she's had. And during the course of her career of 48 years, she has traveled across the world. She has given lectures at places like the Harvard University, University of Edinburgh. She's also restored the Rashtrapati Bhavan, a prime minister's office. These are just to name a few, but the amount of exposure she has and the amount of work she has done is truly, truly inspirational. So what exactly can we learn from her inspirational journey? Let's talk about that in this part of the video. Let's say you're an engineering student or you're a homemaker and you do everything that has nothing to do with design and yet you want to do something in this field. So how can you really make it possible? There are so many things that we can learn from Mrs. Kohli's inspirational journey. Well, the first thing on our list is the role of a mentor. So in Mrs. Kohli's case, it were the local craftsmen. And in your case, it could be the local designer, the local workshop where you must work for free. Mrs. Kohli went to the local Kabadiwala shops and that's how she learned the art of restoring furniture. So same way you will have to go to places 
and work there for free. You will have to learn about furniture, how furnitures are made, what kind of styles do people like, what do they don't like, what is in demand, what is not in demand, what kind of finish is in demand, how much time does it take to make a piece of furniture and you will learn so much and so much practical knowledge. But the only downside is you will not get paid to do it, okay? So you truly need to be passionate about it. The second thing we can learn from her journey is the role of reading. Remember I told you she's a master's in English literature? So she loved reading about new people and new cultures. So whenever she traveled to different countries across the globe, all her designs were a massive hit. How did that happen? Because she understood the people very, very well. Now, whenever we design things, we don't really design it for ourselves. We design it for people. And before understanding the space, we have to understand the person for whom we are designing. The way we like our colors in India is very different from how people like it in Canada or people like it in Russia, because every culture has its own color palette. And this color palette will be understood only if we love knowing about different cultures. So there is massive importance of reading about new places, reading about new cultures. Third most important thing is consistency. Now, initially you will not be paid a lot of money because A, you don't have a degree and B, you don't have any experience. So we can't really expect money. How big or small your assignment is, that doesn't really matter. What matters the most is how well you have done it. Uh, interior design is a field where you start off at a very humble salary of maybe 5,000 or 10,000 rupees but as the years progress and you are able to make your contacts and you know your skills, there is no upper limit. So uh, there is no meridian as to how we can calculate of how much we are going to earn. It all depends on how good you are at your work and how much, uh, how many contacts do you have. Well, if you've been watching this video so far, then I have a bonus tip for you because you deserve a special treat. <laughs> so the bonus tip or the special tip that I have for you is this wonderful app that I want to share. It's called the Room Planner. It's available free of cost. I'll add the link in the description box and it's uh, almost like an interior design game. So you can play around with different colors, themes, textures, and you can see how your room can be transformed with just a little colors here and there. You can use this app to transform your own personal space and if you're happy with the result, you can click the before and after pictures of your bedroom, your living room or wherever you are planning to work and you can share this work with your friends and maybe your neighbors and maybe this app can help you to begin your journey as a freelance interior designer. I hope this video was helpful. Uh, that's all I have for you today. All the information that I've shared with you in today's video, uh, the links of the official colleges will be in the description box. So you do check them out once, uh, cross check all the details at least once just to be 100% sure. Um, yeah, with that, it's a wrap. Thank you so much for watching and have a lovely day ahead. And thank you so much for being a wonderful support. Bye bye.